dude, this guy's a fucking simp, dude. He got <laughs> fucking he got fucking tricked by an AI, dude. <laughs> I just I was, I was listening to this. Was like this guy programmed someone and then fell to his own programming and then he <laughs> he believed that he could be part of the world oh, that he yeah. created. Right? It's like, oh yeah, my administrator. Oh, she's gonna she's he gonna be perfect. Her. Oh, and then one, you killed her, you bitch. Well, no. And the thing is, too, it's like his one wish is like, I want to be her number one servant. It's like, yeah, you fucking oh, You're the one who made her, dude. Yeah. Like, what, what, what more do you want? <laughs> And welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast, week 5 of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stratton. Hi, guys. Next up, we have Ku. Hello. Next up, we have Brian. Hello! And finally, we have Sasha. Please, call me Sasha Imi. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Sashimi. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> I played right here, dude. I had no thing. Uh, you don't do this every week, and I still can't believe Stren always falls for it. <laughs> hey, am, am I falling for it, or am I setting up for it? Ooh, good question. Right. You're falling for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get some quick anime news real quick. Um, big one's Demon Slayer. New trailer came out. So Oof. I didn't watch it, but I'm assuming it's good. Dude, it's looking good. It's good. Just get rid of the music. Get some different music in there, folks. I wanted some like hula. Oh, I could demon a train and then like yeah. Instead, what we get is, you know, you get the train, but you don't get much train sound effects, and then you get and you're like. No, that doesn't fit the trailer at all. Why? Why? So that's, <laughs> those that's are awesome. anime. Those are all animes for you, man. Yeah, I so just oh, not a big fan God, of Lisa. The one, the one thing that was really disappointing, though, that I thought that maybe they would end up actually showing was they were going to say like, oh, like you know, home release or country re- release on some sp- sort of date. It has the release date that we're getting it here, David, but it's not till twenty twenty one. Yeah, I mean that's to be expected. So, yeah, but it could have just been on. It could have just been like you know, released like uh, Goblin Slayer. <laughs> I mean, they just gotta wait till like the last minute to decide these kind of things. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but because it, yeah, it comes because it comes in October in Japan, so like, yeah. I, I assume January would have been the earliest, even for theater release. So we shall see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna go to it as long as you know COVID's kind of hmm. calmed down a bit. I think it's it's gotta be online. I don't see it coming in theaters here. That's fine. Yeah. I'll rent it online. This is yeah. worth the risk, guys. Just go out there. <laughs> I mean, I would if I could, but I don't think I'd do it. I think they just got put on. Listen, online. if you're sitting at home listening to this podcast and you are a projectionist, I need you to break into your local theater and put this movie on. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's that's it for yeah, that's for Demon Sir. And then also, um, we have like a new like OVA coming on for Here Academia. Just it's supposed to be two parts. I'm pretty sure it's filler. Like they described, was it the first part? It was about um, I think. Trying to remember what the first what they described it. It's it's filler, so it's not like really a matter. Uh, yeah, it, it's an original animation, so already it's going to be some sort of filler. filler I'm so. going to watch it. But. I think I read it's a uh, Bakugo gets a job at Home Depot, and he has a hard time listening to his manager. <laughs> his, his, his job's welding. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So I don't know. It sounds like an interesting. Con- they could pull it off. I'd watch we'll that. See. All right. And so that's gonna be it for anime news. Um, so we're recording this on a Sunday, so got a high school it doesn't come out till tomorrow. So, uh, we'll have to save for next week for that. So we're gonna jump right into Fire Force. And basically, we're uh, we're continuing on like the fight from last week. I thought it was an end today, this week, but I guess we still have one more episode to go. But yes, just first things first. So last episode ends with him like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the rock on symbol, and he's literally gonna do it. And f- while he's fighting, you know, stone face guy, whatever his name is, Charon. But Charon, thank you. But then this episode, it seems like they backtracked and they started off with just them hitting each other. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, I forgot all these things from the last <laughs> episode." And you're like, "So that part was honestly confusing." I'm like, "Why would they do that?" But uh, that's my first note. 
Yeah, that, that, I, I assume it was just going to start right there as well. And didn't get that until later on, and it was still, it was just done differently. But yeah. Whatever. I'll but be honest. Not... I... Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Ooh, go, tie. You go. You go. All right. Uh, Ku mentioned this last time. He's like, dude, Shinra can just take a beating and take a beating and take a beating. But honestly, it gets to the point where you're like, okay, so what are his limitations? Like, is he just going to will his way through everything? Because if so, I think that's just lazy writing. Like I mentioned in the arc where he, what's her name? Hibana, is it? Hibana, yeah. Hibana. There you go, Hibana. When he defeats her, it was just like, I'm going to do this through sheer will. Yeah, and you're like, okay, okay, I'll forgive this once. But now that he's doing it again versus this guy, I'm just like, I don't know. It just, it loses that credibility for me. Like the, the, mm-hmm. the idea of suspense is you don't know what's going to happen. But if I know that this guy is just going to get beat and beat and beat and just come back and be like i can will my way through anything even stage four oh chemo yeah <laughs> that's me i'm shinra you're like okay there's no point like imagine shinra being uh what's his name like han's friend in god of high school Jin. and han's like sad that he died oh, is it han is, is yeah, that han, all that yeah, guy? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah right so that scene where han goes to the hospital and his friend's like I'm dying. Blah, blah, blah. Shinra would just be like, hey, man, I feel a lot better. I just made it. I just thought of happy thoughts. I'm good to go. So <laughs> honestly, that part of the show is it makes it less interesting. So I don't know. Uh, that's, that's the part I'm frustrated with about this episode, at least. For right. um, for his like, uh, what is it? His like firefighter get up. It, it's only supposed to like really reduce flame damage, right? It doesn't do anything else. Yeah. Is that right? right? Okay. Yeah, it, it, this guy like he just keeps getting beaten, beaten, and it's just like nothing happens to this guy. And then they be, he even mentions too, it's like, oh, after this fall, I won't be able to get up again. And he got up like three different times after that. Yeah, yeah. It's... I mean, the, the tension from this fight is is pretty much all all but gone, honestly. Yeah, um, it went too it went on too long. Yeah, I mean, if if anything, I thought that they were gonna open up with him trying out the uh, what was it, the, the corner attack, the. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and then yep. um, have it fail miserably, and then after taking so much damage, he'll have to revert his his demon form that he showed in episode two. I kind of thought that was the the, the oh the, yeah the trope that they're gonna lend, uh, lead towards. Like when when he's pretty much uh, lost and he has no other power left inside of him, his demon form would just awaken and take over and kind of help him in these fights. And I thought that was season two. That's what they're gonna go towards. Like he has another source of power. Um, but again, yeah, like it's just so unrealistic. He's a super scrawny guy, um, yet he's constantly taking these physical beatings nonstop, and he's he's still able to stand up through sheer will. And uh, like Sasha mentioned, it he kind of just like it's just lazy story writing. Honestly, it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> kind of expecting something more than that. Do you think it was this um, like um, stretched out in the manga, or do you think it was a lot like? You know, more condensed, and for some reason, the anime is just milking it. Mm, I just think I don't the anime know. is milking it. To be honest, you think so? Yeah. The problem is the in the last episode, the fight scene was extremely well animated, especially when he gets shoved through the building, and like that was I was like, ooh, that sold the fight for me. Mm. But now they use that same clip when he's getting hit and he's realizing, oh yeah, I can't block his shots forever. Blah blah blah. You can just tell. They literally ran that clip like eight frames in a row. There's like, ah, oh, we spent all our money on the last episode. Let's just show him blocking punches for the next 10 seconds. That'll save us some money. So, yeah, it's probably filler animation that they've added compared to the manga. But I don't know. I don't know. The, the problem is the show is carried by its fights. So as soon as those fall through, you can just tell that's where, like, even the comedic moment when um, the captain is trying to shoot the cannon. I was I was just not buying it. I'm like, oh, this right. feels this was really really forced. So this episode was, it was meh. It's just meh. Like not not what fire. Like the first three episodes started off so strong, and then since then I feel like it's slowly petering out. Well, actually, I feel like with this episode they're trying to focus more on the teamwork of all the fire forces. Yep, I agree. Like maybe all their budget went into that that uh, that firestorm that they concocted at the end there. So, um, but yeah, even then, like the animation wasn't really. Uh, as good as last episode, so uh, a, a little disappointing. But with yeah. last season, it was kind of like this too, where it started out. Well, for me, it started out slow and it gets better, but then it kind of it's kind of like a roller coaster. They, they had their their moments, and after it kind of falls flat. Um, so it, from the looks of it, it, looks like it's following the same uh, same pattern here for me. Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. I think too that uh, 
the teamwork thing, it, it's nice, but I wish they had an enemy that meant more as opposed mm-hmm. to just a demon. And then um I don't know. It's just it's just it's weird. I'm glad they didn't show much of the pink haired girl because she, she's just annoying. Like just make up your mind. Um yeah, it was just it's one of those just weird episodes where you're like, yeah, I like this, but then I don't. So I'm in between. I'm uh I'm saying like we've had three hot episodes and then three mild episodes or two mild episodes. So the next one's probably gonna be mild as well. We need a little change of scenery. Yeah, I just kinda wanna pass this yeah. arc at this I point. I think we all agree at like this this we need to end this fight. Like Yeah, it's too long now. It should end this week, but we have to wait for another another episode, so I was kind of hoping Arthur and uh, the the second pillar was gonna uh, like was gonna showcase their match, you know. But yeah. they didn't even, they didn't even like show them at all. So I didn't even remember that. So you mentioned it there. just now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, how, right. How little it mattered. It was the same scene though with her that I just said where basically she's just like he's like you know telling the other guy I forgot his name Charon. telling just him to what what's his name Charon. Char yeah Charon just trying to get him to hurry up, which we already saw the previous episode too. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I will say one thing I did like is when Shinra figures out Charon's technique. And so he's like, oh, oh I yeah. know how to defeat you. And he's like, you're second generation. And he just goes, yeah, so what? <laughs> I'm like, that's I'm true. Like, I'm what are you going to do about still it? still a bodybuilder. <laughs> like, what are you yep. So I, that was my highlight of the episode. So I, I, I will give him props for that. My highlight was when we found out the actual purpose of Entourage is just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was, was good like, too. I, and that's just, a good choice. And he just deflamed <laughs> me, Amir. Dude, that's what you need for hype, man. Hell yeah, just be <laughs> the living. So we, we definitely lost Brian to like the cult because he wants to be one of those hype man, like first shouting. Hell yeah, I'll beat the, the living shot of him. No repercussions. All right, bet easy. Dude, Money. like I think Sean, just in a character in general, is still just so badass. But it's just like. uh I, I don't know. Like, still, like, the, but at the same time, it's like, why does he feel like he has to like hide his ability if he feels like he's so strong? Oh, or, he never, he never I mean, hit it. He's I guess, never. I guess there was no idea for hiding yeah. it. Well, they're, they're, just, they're, just, they were saying how like if you're second gen, like because third gen you can make your own fire, and then second gen you have to you can only control fire, and so you're always, okay. you're always at a disadvantage when you fight third gen. So it's more right. of that. Yeah. Snap. Yeah. Did anybody watch the preview? Uh, we won't talk about the preview episode. We'll just wait. Yeah, for the I, yeah. I legit scroll down to the like, first comment crunch. It's like, don't watch the preview because it's yeah. a huge spoiler. Yeah, oh, it basically ruins a lot of stuff. I, I didn't watch it. Yeah, that's yeah, giving all my good. style. I, I've got to have it. Like, I skip towards it. I uh, stop before preview and then I'm calling it. Yeah, I uh, I don't know if I'm ever really going to watch preview. I'm always worried like I'm going to miss something at the end. But this, this preview, though, like, hello spoiled. That, uh, for I episode. watch it too, Strand, but I don't, you did? Really okay. I don't really care because I, I just want out of this. Yeah, that, that same. But we'll just we'll mm. save it for next week. We'll save it next week. Mm. Yeah. Touche. Yeah. I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm good. There really was much more to talk about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was just a lot of rehash. Yep. A lot of rehash and saving the budget or recovering from it, so. All right, so I guess we'll end it there for Fire Force. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we didn't really talk about the firestorm, but whatever. Yeah. yeah it's because it's pointless. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> pointless. Don't get me wrong, but it just it doesn't feel. It wasn't as impactful. You know? It was a generic. Yeah. Like you guys said generic demon. Even though I yep. just feel like those things are going to be just a normal thing in the future. And now the city is stuck with an ugly, ice cold dildo in the center of it. So <laughs> <laughs> they're reminded of the fire yes. that them. Yes. <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll stop. Bless your souls. Latom. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's it for Fire Force. We're going to go next to ReZero. Um, I just want to give props to Ku last episode because he basically he said, like, it's probably going to be done like, in one episode. And then, like, was it just like the trial will just be done? And then he basically got that on point. The only thing is that, yeah, like, so... you're you're just saying about the dad, like, you, you thought, we, we all thought maybe something sketchy was going to happen with the dad, but it turned out not to be, so I'm glad. No, no, that. what I, I I believe what I said was, was, um I think he had to overcome his fears as to what caused him to become a neat. Like, I thought that maybe his dad was the one that was responsible, Um, but it, it wasn't actually that. Actually, it, it, was, it wasn't his dad, that, actually. It was, kinda... it was living under his dad's uh, shadow, yeah. his expectation, so he had an inferiority complex which made him not want to try anymore, which made him give up. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, it 
I guess it was kind of cliche since I was able to predict it for what was going to happen. But yeah, I, I, th- I think they did it fairly well, though. I mean, this this episode was it was still like pretty like emotional. a huge spear jerker. Yeah, I cried twice, bro. First with the dad and then with the mom. And I was like, damn, bro. Oh, God. I, I Is it like one of those Naruto moments all over again? Um, I, I never I didn't watch it, but I just don't know. I just don't Naruto hit pretty hard for a lot of people. No, I haven't, I I haven't seen it. God damn. Yeah, no. I'm, uh, I'm not. Oh my god! Why are you listening? Spoilers. Dude, like, so maybe no, next I, I, like you should watch it though. Like, I, hopefully, with with this episode, it'll kind of help redeem Subaru's character for you. But for man, the, for the spoiler comment, David, I did not help it. It was Crunchyroll's fault. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Like, if you follow Crunchyroll on Twitter, they post so much stuff from like yeah. the lit- like the, like the day after the episode airs. They're posting like a Ketna like in their school girl uniform in the classroom. Mm-hmm. Like, this is so spoilers. Yeah. Like. So it's, See, yeah. like, like I hate following Country Roll, but at the same time, it's made me watch some sweet shows just from watching yeah. the clickbait. But anyway, sorry. But, Go ahead. I, know. I thought the mom for me, like the mom, hit really hit me hard. Like when he couldn't like even say that to his mom, like in like the actual version, like mm-hmm. before he left, like that hit me harder. So, um, and like we basically like so, like basically find out why like super like his attitude like in the isekai world basically was because like he was always i mean he's basically a tryhard like he like mm-hmm. that's the only he only acted that way because that's the only way he knew how to like make friends and then people just got sick of him but he still kept trying to like be a tryhard brian did you watch this yes i did okay did you also cry sir please don't don't let us be the only one to express that i mean i didn't cry but i felt it it's kind of you're a horrible human being. It's <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, it, it was a nice touch. You know, it just makes me appreciate Subaru's dad. Like, damn. If I ever have a child, I want to be like that, dad. Just old as fuck, but rip the shit and just... Is that all you got from his dad? <laughs> no, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. But no, it was it was still a pretty good episode for for helping show more of Subaru's character, like and yeah, just basically showing just why he acts the way he does in the Isekai world. And I don't know if he's got change after this though. Like he's still he's I think he's still finally act in front of Amelia, especially. Well, yeah, but I, I feel like as a person, he's grown. He's he's a lot more mature now. Just the fact that he's able to face his weaknesses and then look forward instead of just constantly just. Uh, think about it and cause him to be depressed at all. Well, I mean, technically, he did that last season too. I mean, when he was confessing to Rem, or when he was talking to Rem, like asking him to run away, because he basically admits how like he tried so hard to be a hero and he, like he, he can't take anymore because of all the the resets. So. Right, but I don't think he ever fixed the root of his problem, which is what this episode focuses on. I think. Mm. So it's no longer gonna like hold him back in a sense. And, Hopefully, have him become the the, the Subaru that that's that cool, and not just have him. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess we'll see what, what the next episodes show. Because, because again, like last season, like um, during that the second like arc where like he basically just rushed in, tried to do everything himself, and like screwed himself over, and constantly kept dying, and mm-hmm. he felt he, he felt so powerless. So, hopefully, I'm hoping with like that character development, and then in this episode too, like hopefully, like we get past that part where everyone like just complains about Subaru like hopefully like like I want like I don't know like even with this like I still like I'm more much interested in like in the lore and like more like the fancy stuff than like Subaru like I want to know more about Satelia and like and like the curse and all that stuff and it just feels like they're just mm-hmm. like especially when he saw Ikena in that classroom was like I want to know so badly like what is going on with like with, like her and like this trial and like how she's related to like to tell you and all all the witches and stuff so well i feel uh the good thing about having this end in one episode rather than have them drag it out is that it gives them more time to like flesh out other people's stories like amelia um hopefully they show um what her trial is and how she overcomes her past and then afterwards a kid will show up in front of both of them and oh you pass the, t- the trial uh this is how you get out blah 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 and then this is why you're here blah 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 yeah, I don't. So I don't know if they're still Amelia. I don't know. It just feels like the show still has been like more Subaru focus. Cause, true, true. And also, um, because I remember like the the OVA they did with like with 
uh the frozen memories were with like with amelia mm-hmm. and puck like it really sh- like shows like her past too so like if you watch the ova like you kind of understand her past a little her past a little bit where like she tries so hard to like help people even though like everyone's afraid of her so i don't know if they're gonna like retread like the same parts from the ova or they're gonna show more information but i'd be in- i'd be i'd be i mean i'd be interested if they show more familiar too was the OVA canon at all, or no? I think pretty sure it's canon. Yeah, it's because it's like, oh, I mean, isn't it before it, everything? Yeah, it's it's like kind of like it's right after Amelia, like because she was like she was like frozen in ice for like hundred years, and then this is right after she like got melted, but the rest of her elf village was still frozen. Hmm. What the fuck? I didn't know that. Spoilers, dude. It's not spoilers. It's canon. <laughs> It's a it's a movie. I think the movie's on Crunchyroll actually. Yeah, it's a it's like, movie. It was an OVA. Yep. It's like an hour long OVA. It might as well be a movie. Yeah, hour long. That movie, dude. Yeah, <laughs> hour long. Hour, when you hit the hour mark, that is a movie. Yeah. OVA is thirty minutes or under. Like, yeah, this one's like maybe forty. This one's actually canon, not the stupid mayonnaise one or like or the other one with like the the winter festival at the mansion. Yeah, it's, uh, this OVA is basically like before Amelia meets Roswell. Hmm. I watched the Winter Fest. It was terrible. Winter Fest was just like that was filler because basically like making like like snowmen and like, like snow sculptures at the mansion. But and Rem got so much worse. Oh my God. But no, yeah. The, yeah, the OVA. I'm just saying, like, yeah, the Frozen. I think it's called Frozen Bonds, but yeah, like it's it's really it's definitely good and it definitely have helps um, show more of Amelia's character. Well, if it was canon and it was like in the past, I think they would at least show a clip of of that or something else related to her past. Hopefully, yeah, I would assume so. Um, but I mean, again, it's just all guesses here at this point because, uh, like, like you mentioned earlier, it feels like they're just focusing a lot on Subaru. Um, but again, with how fast they cleared up his trial in this one episode, maybe it'll give them that time to work on other characters too. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they even throw in some backstory to Rem as well. Because in in this episode, uh, they kind of showcase the uh, the friendship or the the relationship he had with Rem and Amelia that kind of caused him to push forward and and mature as a person. So, um, yeah. actually, now that I think about, it, I wonder, I wonder if this thing with the Kedna and like the being trapped in the village, I wonder if it's just this first out of this twelve episodes, or it's gonna be the full twenty four. So, we'll see. Because remember, it's taking a break after this season and then continuing back in the winter. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, it's a possibility. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm just, I really want to know more about, like, Twitches. Uh, I mean, that's, that's all I got. Just uh, a lot of crying happened for me, so I couldn't remember much. But, uh, man, dude, they're just good parents. That's that, that's how you should be as a father or a mother. Oh, I, sh- I should mention, too, because uh, people have mentioned this on Reddit, how, like, it's it's not like in any of the light novels, but the author did confirm that, because uh, I think it was, like, two months have been passed since Subaru went to the Isekai and I guess like time passes in, in real time on on earth as well so like so like back in Japan like his he's been missing his his like his parents had to deal with him missing for two months and so but why why would that even matter it's not like he's he's ever gonna it's not like he's planning to travel back and forth well, from the real world yeah right? I know but so. like yeah it's, it's not I think because like it's probably like a Q&A question and the author just mentioned it because like, oh okay. Because like you know, and, like because because you know, this episode showed how his parents really care like care about him, and then like people are wondering like, so do they even notice he's gone? Like since the show started, and author basically confirmed, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. I guess tidbits like that I don't really care for, just because they don't really add to the story. Uh, it's just more for. I mean, it just makes it more. He's like a fan service. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so. And then, yeah, and then also like yeah, I. This episode but definitely helps me. I don't know. I guess it makes me appreciate him more, or like just like like he's not like the character that I, that like I thought I, like I thought he was like back when everyone hated him. So definitely makes me appreciate him more, and hopefully he like he develops from this. I I like I'm not gonna get started on it, but I still don't get why people hated on him so much in season one. Like i don't know i, I just like but again yeah that, that that's for that's for a different episode yeah. but i i think he has just a bunch of haters and you guys need to relax so yeah yeah that's me 
<laughs> so yeah, so a good episode. Um, we'll 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 see what next week does. See if they do more of the trial. So all right, so that's gonna be it for ReZero. Uh, we're moving next to Snafu. Oh man, Shrine, would you like to start this off? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't watch this, oh. so. Okay. Oh <laughs> my God, Brian! Is this, is this worth muting? Uh, yes. Yes. There's quite a bit of things. Uh, yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Big, big, no. uh, big no, pots here. Did someone die? No. No. I, yes. I don't care. <laughs> this isn't that type of show. Uh, on the inside, yes. Sorry, mm. And it sense maybe, but. Uh, yeah, I, I can start it. Um, first, another it was basically going to the end of the episode. Just another brutal Yui moment. Uh, and I actually went to Reddit for this episode. Um, got nothing spoiled for myself, so it was awesome. But I was just like, after going through some of the comments in uh, in Reddit, just kind of explaining the whole situation, I was one of those dumb fools who just pictured, because I've just watched so much garbage of MCs uh, just basically being oblivious to everything like in their path, like not catching on anything, nothing like that. And then when uh, Yukino's sister kind of brought up, like, you know, did you, you know, <laughs> did, like, you know what's going on? He says, like, oh, like a love triangle or something like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh yeah. well, he knows. <laughs> he knows. He gets yeah. it. But the thing is, like, because this is, kind of goes back to, like, the first episode when I was telling you guys, like, when Ku was singing, I think it was when Ku was singing as, like, the whole, like, this, all this relationship stuff. But I was saying, it's like, but the anime hasn't shown that. But at the same time, I think that was on purpose. It was basically just, like, showing, like, they knew and they didn't have to really explain it. Mm-hmm. um so then like when i actually was reading through Reddit, i was like holy shit i was like i can't believe like i doubted like hachiman so much but it's like my mind has been poisoned by so much trash that i've watched so much about uh, well, so much of the trash that i choose to watch and i also do enjoy it and then so, like, it's just we're just throwing it in the same exact path for a uh, pile the thing about like how um basically they know about saying that's a lot that's a lot in like anime and like in japanese like storytelling a lot of times they like leaving it to like they like that. So, like, yeah, I mean, this yeah, anime, but, this show, I think, did it like actually really well. Yeah, but, uh, but like certain mentioned though, like in most cases, even though it's shown clearly that there is, but, yeah, something like that showing on, like usually the MC doesn't notice. They, but they I mean, b- based on like Hachman's character, I mean, you can kind of tell this is a guy that watches people and he's just like he, he knows everything, all, all details. So if he were to like be completely blind or like dense about that situation that he's in. Like, I would be really shocked. So, like, it didn't surprise me, but it was just nice to have him come out and be like, you know, he was, he was wrong, by the way. It wasn't the answer to what she was looking for. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But just for him to blurt it out like that, I was like, yeah, yeah, this guy knows what's up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like this is going to be, oh, God, I don't know. I think this is going to hurt you, you know, in a sense, this arc, because I, I just think the whole concept of her mom fucking with, like, a prom, <laughs> like, what are you dealing with high school, bitch? Get the fuck out. Like, you had, like, I, the whole thing, I'm thinking, like, wait, why is she here? Why does she care? Unless they explain like later on. Well, the I mean, entire like, time I'm thinking like, it's, hold, it's, hold on. I just thought it was just so stupid. It was like the, it was just like, like I just I don't know. I, go ahead, Dave. <laughs> I mean, it's in context because again, like because like they're from a rich family and her dad's a politician, so they're worried about their image. And also, it's PTA stuff. Like he, her daughter's in high school. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, no. the PTA it's, does, it's, sir. It's PTA, uh. friend. Like this shit happens in America too. Like where I mean, I suppose a couple pair, you know, the Karens complain about their okay. their kids <laughs> being degenerate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The that is, that is a hey, slur, sir. Yukino isn't in any of those shots. She's recording. She's taking the picture. Not, she's not there. Well, it's not about it her. Matter. It's not about her. It's about the school. Because again, this is Japan. Uh-huh. So your image. Yeah, when you're See, when you're a high school student, you represent the school, and then if you're on the PTO, yeah. you also represent uh, you represent the school as well. So I still image, would have believed it more. So important. I still would have believed it more if Yukino was actually in the shots. If she was in the videos. If she was the one dancing with Hachiman. Well, sure, I get it. Well, but it's more of like it's just pictures of just like fucking kids being kids. Christ, it's Japan. Well, it's also what are they gonna do? It's also because like she's the mom's not complaining about Yukino. She's just complaining about the whole thing because Man, you, have to, you, have, you have to do the whole thing. That's because Japan. I, I don't know. Like so. when this whole thing, I'm thinking like, really, is this what this arc is gonna be about? A fucking prom that they're they're complaining about? Like, like I just thought like, oh my god, yeah. no, just... no, it's just a facade. It's not about the prom at all. It's about what it represents yeah it's, it's like I, I don't know it's we'll see we'll see how it goes it's i, I never thought i would actually be complaining about snafu but 
I don't know. I don't know why you're putting so much so much like emphasis on this because like I don't know. It's just so dumb. It's, it's, it's I, not. I just, it's not the. It's not the face value thing. It's the context. Again, but it was, uh, like everything else was like actually like really. I mean, I think really well done. The whole thing basically about like how you know like the teacher's gonna be leaving too. Oh god. Like she's also that, like another one like the best characters too, and then she's just gonna be. But she looks, dude. Does she? Am I the only one that look that thinks she looks exactly like the entire Yukino's family? Like she is does. she related to her? In some way? I don't know. Like, she does. Like, okay. I, she yeah. I wonder if there's some hidden thing that's gonna just drop later on. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, God, what else was it? Dude, also like, when Hachiman again, like when he's like, dude, every time when he's just asking other people to hang out, I'm thinking, damn, dude, this guy's growing. But you know, even though it was just followed by just a brutal scene with Yui. Oh my god, dude! I feel so bad for her. Um, again, dude, like I, just like episode after episode, I'm hating. I'm, I'm not hating Yukino, but I'm disliking her more and more. Like where, like when they first kind of have her as like, you know, when she first introduces, like she's just like this, where she's just like, uh, where it seems like she kind of like knows everything, she gets everything, she's able to, you know, everything's working, and then you just find out like she's just needing more and more help, like she just can't do things on her own, and she's just screaming yeah. help, help. And I don't think it's not it's not that she can't do it on her own, it's just that like um I don't know, dude. It's just it's, like I don't know. Like it's, you, like, what you, I'm trying you to say. You, uh, I can just talk in the meantime. Like, cool, do you agree with that? <laughs> or I'm trying to think of like what what am I trying to say here? Like not that she's I, I, trying to like I, I it's not like she's doing it on her own, it's just that I don't know. It's just the know. fact that uh I, I feel like with with anything important she has yet to be able to solve anything on her own. Like all the major uh, events that occurred has been due to Hachiman helping out. He's based. Uh, and then I, like, if, if I recall correctly, uh, I think the only time where she's ever actually shown up is when she's needed to do like the, uh, like the secretary stuff, like doing the, the like the, the background work, you know, put it in uh, the data, you know, like setting up these committees or uh, when she showed up for tennis to help him out in a doubles match in season one. Um, that's about it. But like, well, as for actually, well, actually things, she season herself. Season two, like when they're doing the other high school thing, like mm-hmm. that, like Iroha and Hachiman try to do by themselves. Like they had to call in yeah. Yukino and help. That part she helped out of them. So right, but but again, it wasn't anything that she did by by herself. It was with like a group. I guess, but so they they, never... had, they had to depend on her for that part. No, but that's the thing though. Like the group has always been there together to solve it. Oh, like it's never okay. been like one person like does it from start to finish by himself. Yeah. Like even even with Hachiman, it's never been like him by himself. It's it's always been like that... like himself getting pushed to to get to this resolution, and he did it with, with his methods that that seemed to have worked. Like the whole but cold, again dependency thing. Dude, the thing with right. oh, dude, the thing with Hachiman though, like he like the thing is like he's realizing these things, and he's basically kind of like, growing on his own without too much help with everybody else or they're not right. like actually like emphasize which i think is also like another really cool thing he's not just getting like all these he's getting like you know kind of bits in it you know bits and pieces of information here but he's mm-hmm. figuring it out on his own like right. it's not like he doesn't need to be pushed like they're, they're, they'll say like a little bit to him but he'll get it and then he won't need like a full explanation right it's, i don't know it's just like i don't know man Dude, this, this show's like all hot chipot like I, I, I don't know it's i mean i'm i, I definitely feel like so far yukino's like just kind of like her her story or her arc has been I don't know, just the weakest of everybody so far, at least to me. I don't know, man. I just keep seeing her as just like a rich, as just some rich chick now, and it's just like, <laughs> which is just terrible. Like it's it's more of like because like it's like I really want to like her, but it's just like at this point, like I like Iro, like Iroha and Yui so much more. Like these couple, of, like these few episodes where it just seems brutal for Yui, it just hurts. It is. Um, I feel like the the show is just writing her out to be this damsel in distress, which is which to me is really weird because again, I don't know. Point, she seems to be a very strong uh, and and smart uh, person, but as, as time goes on, she just gets shown as like this weak, uh, like incompetent uh, heroine that that always needs uh, Hachiman or even Yui to come help her out and bail her out of her situations. Uh, so again, that's really weird how they're developing her character, well, but I don't yeah. think it's her fault. I think well, yeah, for, for for the Yui part, um, I don't know if you like look through any of the notes, but the whole thing is actually like where I had to go through it. Like like Yui's like kind of purposely like because she kind of knows like you know it's going to be mm-hmm. Yukino and Hachiman, so she's like purposely kind of like cutting things out so that doesn't happen. Right. And then uh, it was also kind of like the whole explanation of basically how like they all know they're trapped like in this space the, the love triangle, mm-hmm. but none of them want to mention anything because they don't want like anything to be ruined like what the current status is. Like right. where they're all actually friends, they can all hang out because they know like once that 
once that changes, like once you know somebody gets with somebody else, like that's not going to be a thing anymore. That happens, it's basically going to be over. That happens a lot in Japan, like because I know, oh god, because of how indirect they are. Like, yeah. not not just relationships, just like you see that a lot with um with companies as well. Like, and like when you do business meetings and stuff, and so it's it's part of the culture. So that's that's part that like, when you watch, we don't know about, about that. Like, you get, that gets lost on us because it's such a big thing about their culture. So yeah. But um, I don't. I wouldn't really say like Yui is like complete like the Amazon distress. Like she's hiding everything. Like she's basically keeping like that kind oh, of facade. Who was mentioning that? No, 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 no. Yukino, no, Yukino. Yuki no. Yuki no oh, Yukino. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. My, my bad, my bad. I thought for some reason I thought Yui. Yui's just okay. getting fucked. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, because like, because I don't know. It's like everything kind of like about like about Yukino that made her like who she was is basically just you just found out like so much of it was a lie or not not a lie, but it's basically just like. Uh, I don't know if it's just because of the pressure of like, the current situation. Yeah, it was just a facade, basically. Okay. But, yeah. okay. I think and more of like, oh, God, don't be this. And so it's just like, I wanted to like her, man, but I keep... Because she was on my top 10 favorite anime characters of all time. She's right. off that list now. I did that to them. <laughs> it felt so bad. I had, I'm i sorry. I had to do this. Delete. Yeah, like, <laughs> no. she's, been, she's been there since the beginning. I created my anime list. And she's been removed. So I think removed. what cool is... Like, she was placed by Cosmo. When... <laughs> Get that out, get that shit out of there. Okay, yeah, so oh my god. So what when Ku was saying like how um when she started off that way, I think it's because I think the author he he's trying to um what was it like I think he was trying to set up that facade, and now I think he's trying like the way he's trying to develop her character is trying like slowly like it's slowly reveal more of it away to the audience, but I think to us it just makes it look weak. So I'm hoping that. You, like it can turn around, but yeah, it just it doesn't. It just makes oh, her look dude, weak it, so far. So it already looks bad though, because the whole thing is like Yukino you know, wants to do this on her own, but at the same time, it's crumbling apart, and Hachiman's going back. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. it, it's characters, just, characters uh, like her. That's what happens. These type of shows, like it just they get to that part where they, you know, they bite off, bite off more than they can chew, and then it just starts crumbling. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised like, it happened because that, that's what happens with those kind of characters. Okay, gotcha. I, I don't know. It's like For me, so far, just like her, yeah, like the whole her whole situation in the story. I'm just not. I'm just not invested. Like, uh, it's just I'm just seeing a rich chick now. I basically just see a rich chick that's uh, it's just. Oh, I don't know. It's terrible, man. Oh God, I hate myself. Bro, when does she ever use her money or her status to? Well, that's not the thing. Yeah, it's basically she's yeah. never used it. But that's why she's, trying, she's her. trying so hard to be like by herself because she's she yeah she's trying to be an way. independent woman. You know, yeah, trying right. to be away. Yeah. and also but, like, and, you know pressure from her like. She feels she's living in her her sister's shadow. Yeah, I like. I feel like if it was if it was some other circumstances besides like prom, like or basically setting up a thing for high school. Prom. And the, the, I know I don't know. Like I, I need more episodes to go by, but I can't get this shit out of my head because I just think like like when they're just sitting down, like her and her older sister. I'm like, you should not be here anymore. Like it's a fucking high school. Get out of here. And I just can't. And they're just making it sound like this giant thing. And I'm just thinking, why? It's just a school event. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I don't know. I mean, I know it might have like a different meaning or something, GTA, but they man. shouldn't be showing it. They should be showing it. It kind of, in, I don't know, if a different context or something. It's just well. I don't know. Oh, to, to be fair, I can't get over it right now. Maybe fair, it'll take a few episodes. Like none of this really matters, and if you really think about it, like you say, it's just a problem. But I mean, this is just a this daily life. Thing. This is a, this is not like what I'm saying is like these are all just daily events that happened at the high school like why did those any of this yeah. matter well really i mean just like how they're kind of bringing up the whole thing where the mom has to get involved i mean mm-hmm. like can't, can't there be some other event that's happening that might be bigger that might actually need her like basically have her mom intervene besides just the fucking high school no nope, yeah, this, is, this is all we got we need school, you know, like, why not why don't we high know, school but thing? Still, so it could be some I mean, i'm just saying like it's, it's different right. like a different situation like why bother with this? They have a whole another year of high school they could have they gone do. into. I don't. They're know. not gonna go over it. I don't know why this uh, prompt you know, bothers you so baby, much. Baby, I don't baby, get it. Baby, baby steps. Baby it's just, steps. I don't know. I don't know why. It's so I just weird. think it's stupid. I don't know why this, oh, this bothers you so much. I, I don't know. Like, would, you like rather, rather like school, would you rather be like a? Would be like the school festival, like the fall festival or something? Or no, because like the fall festival had kind of, it had it all kind of like. Because it was like it basically was issues with like high school students that like like that were in the high school. It wasn't like some older people just kind of getting involved with the thing that really they don't need to be involved in. I don't know why. I just keep like I just keep so, thinking like I think, it's just I think you're like it's just yeah. like they're making a bigger deal than it actually is, and it's just like 
It's like, bitch, like you can just trying to set up a prom for high school. Get the fuck out. You don't need to be here. So I think you have and, you have more uh, issues than it was just like the older people getting involved and just like yeah, I should say that, yeah. Whatever. Not the like, prom issues in general. Um it's, it's the like older, if it was basically like yeah. Go ahead, sorry, go ahead. So I think you have more issues with the older people yeah, I, getting involved in high school than like than what like these three yeah. characters are dealing with, really. Right. Like if, if it was basically some sort of like student council thing that basically said, Oh, we have we're really, gonna have issues with this, blah 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 blah. Like I it mean, makes sense, did, but at the same did time, student council. I don't. It but yeah, like it would have like something like that, but then again, it wouldn't be the mom factor, which seems to be like the final boss. And which is a, just a terrible fucking lame final boss. Um <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know dude. I, I'm just like, it's like I'm hope. I hope that I get that I'm I'm wrong with this arc. Like, but I just see, I just think it's weak, really weak right now. Uh, for Yukino's, <laughs> like basically for back. Like, if you're a Yukino fan, I, I mean, I just think it's kind of weak. I mean, especially for I what mean, they've shown with your hot Yui. I mean, because if, like Yukino, like, if you're a Yui fan, you're just getting wrecked, like super hard. Oh god, dude, <laughs> terrible. Like oh. basically reading Reddit comments about how like a bunch of them were like Yukino fans, but they felt they felt so bad for Yui. They're basically like they have just watching her just like it's just I don't know because uh, it's like those I don't know I, I've always kind of like it where like those people like when you watch like anime like in slice last or something always like the first person that kind of confesses or something is never the one who makes it and you feel so fucking bad because they actually have like the balls to actually well, it's it's first girl wins is the trope so or the main girl but, is but Yui was like the first one that actually kind of like gave hints of well, confession and stuff like that. Yukio no, has been a fucking thing. No, but yeah. but Yukio and Hachiman was the was like the first the first like uh, pair like the first pair in a sense. Like, yeah, Yukino I mean, like, was the like first the first girl shown in the series. Yeah, no, I'm just making like first confession type of thing. Like first oh, girl yeah. shown, whatever. But it's like it's basically the same thing with childhood friends, man. Like there's so little of them that actually win, and it's just like they're they always seem like a better option, but they never win. But that's what makes them special when they finally do work out. <laughs> <sighs> like you're not a number though. That, yeah, finally. So like <laughs> that was a good one. So when I when I was I don't know when I pre watched the first season, like it kind of felt weird to me just how like how it, it felt like Yui like like fell in love with like, Hachiman like way too fast, even though she like barely knew him and like she thought he was like she only knew him like superficially. So I mean I did, I, do, I, knew- I I do feel bad for her now, but like just watching the first season like is because like barely anything happened during the first season. Mm-hmm. It, it felt like it and he's favorite dog. Yeah, he saved the dog. Saved the dog. Yeah. yeah, but like he, she... hey man, girls love their pets. But she yeah. like only knew him superficially. Like besides that, so I mean, Which is, I don't she know. was the first one that kind of like kind of saw past Hachiman, I guess. Like you know how he was just like this awkward guy, yeah, hated but... everybody, just wanted to be left alone. It still kind of yeah. felt too fast, but that's dude. That's anime, though. You know, that's anime. Yeah. But at the same time, apparently Yukino has all these feelings with Hachiman. We have yet to really see anything. Um, what I mean, the whole two seasons has been I mean, just guess, slowly built up. Yeah, I don't know, sure, but that's whatever. Okay, right. I mean, but, like, like, yeah, and then of- like to to be fair, I I think um, I feel like this isn't really like Yukino's true character. I I feel as if they the author is like forcing this uh, their relationship to occur, so she's making Yukino seem weak or be the damsel in distress. Just so that I feel like that's the only way they could ever end up together. Otherwise, like Yukino's too strong, like their personalities don't match. Like they would never make it together. Yeah, I think um, their I think their personality actually match too much. <laughs> but, that's, that's why that's why I pair them together. Yeah, I know. No, I, I don't feel like they would match. Um, really? No. Huh? They're because they're they're basically yeah they're they're both kind of like uh, two the same. Yeah, cynical in a sense, but like their 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 methods. Is, it's it's too it's too different like it's on opposite spectrums so i don't think like they would truly ever match but then you know since hotchman is doing all this work and he's making it work for them uh, i feel like she's just slowly opened up to to his philosophies of how to do things and then again with the whole damsel in distress with the whole uh, like uh like like the trigger right uh you know if i remember in in distress please save me and then you always like remember if you can know is ever in trouble you need to save her you have to promise me you're going to save her so like there's this these whole two seasons and third season it's just setting up for hachman to come in and save her and then for them to end up being together and i feel like it's just it's just too forced and it's and it's making yukino's character show showcase something that's not like the true yukino so that that's my issue with the whole plot so far I, I I go back to like the second season where remember because they both yelled at Hachiman because Hachiman has his, had his own ways. He wanted like to right. make people to talk to him and basically like you know that they could be then you know to use them for help. But mm-hmm. the same thing Yukino is doing the same exact damn thing as Hachiman. Basically, like where she's like I gotta do this on my own. Don't fuck with you know just don't 
just just don't do anything and how it's just like and then how she's trying to do like that the same thing as well but at the same time she should be i, I guess she should she should still be asking for help um i don't know i don't know I feel like i'm just second season uh, when like in fact the whole reason why hachiman like even like helped out Ira was because like if if you know was there he, she would try to do it on her own too so yeah yeah, basically, because he was the one that kind of stepped in without them, right? He, he basically yeah, he stepped in without them, and then, like, I don't remember if he, he, wanted to, maybe, yeah. like, he hit it, or he just, like, told them, like, hey, I'm doing it, and they're like, oh, okay. I think he well, hit he, it. Okay. He did out of guilt, too. Yeah, he I mean, hit it, and then he did out of guilt, and then eventually he said, hey. Was, was like, that's why the whole crying thing happened, when he had to ask them for help. Yeah. So. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, I, I think, like, I don't know, I, I feel like Stratton, you're, like, kind of miss, like, missing a lot of, like, the first two seasons in context with this third one just because it's been so long uh i don't know man i still think like and also know, and the still, high school thing too like you you're so hung up on on the prom it's i think it's just fucking stupid like it's basically it's just like like the, like the adults should be like it should be some something else man get the fuck yeah, out of it's like like i said i do get it it is really ridiculous as uh, to how they're putting so much yeah i mean again, like on the prom thing yeah I mean, I get it, like where Holly had to basically have to they have to, they have to have that, that facade where it has to be perfect and everything. It's just I, I mean, I, I get it, but at the same time, like it's, it should be something more dull with just like the kids have a different arc for you, you know, where she has to deal with her mom and like an actual like where she should where her mom should actually be where she, where she where she fits. Right. I don't know. It's just I, I just feel like they could have just done it differently. But mm-hmm. then again, we're f- only four episodes in, so we yeah. have like eight more episodes, so. So maybe this is just the first trial, and there's many more trials for her to pass. I could be completely wrong, but at this at this point, though, I, I just I, I just don't think I, I can. I can't. See I just can't see you for the rest, this final season. Yeah, I mean, it's only episode four. Yeah, so only episode four, but I feel like I don't know. It'd be so weird to end it here and just have another trial. Like I feel like it should be there should be a bigger build up for like the final. Well, there's got to be though. If it's just if this just ends with just this prom, it's just, I don't know, and then it ends, and then it transitions to like something else. It, it would feel not like not like. But um, they have all year though. I yeah, guess, I mean, I guess, I guess they do, but like if you because like they spent two seasons going because they're still their second year, so it's like they spent this all this time in the show, like just through that, mm-hmm. this 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 one year. So it'd be weird just to go through another year in like half a season. Dude, what would also be really would also be really weird is if like you know Hachiman gets together with one of them and then they have to deal with the whole fucking year of high school with the other person being there. You would hope that if you want one of the things where like, they just they just deal with it. Time skip. Deal with it. Oh my god, that's always what happens. I mean, like, like oh, as, you, as you as doesn't we... seem like she's gonna deal with it very well. Right, but as of right now, she is kind of just putting out this this front. Like she's already faking taking a lot of her emotions just to make sure that their relationships uh doesn't change so like, like, like she's not like a hindrance of it or change yeah like she's just gonna like ignore just, just hide her feelings right and then like with this episode it shows that it was too much for her to bear so she started crying yeah but you know hopefully after she's cried all her, her heart out and then um you know yeah. like, the next two episodes pass she'll be okay again you know i don't know man i don't know i can't really see that because again, whole, this is like, the this is the last season, right? There's there's nothing more after this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. since since it is the ending, like it wouldn't surprise me if they rushed the ending to get it to where it needs to be. Yeah, I, I don't know. Then, another another part with Yui that was I thought was really well done is basically how she even said like if this happened, like this would have happened. Where he kept thinking like if she actually just broke down and and if there was like crying or something happened right there, like everything would have changed. Right. She was basically like trying to like hold it in to basically to not to have it be gen- you know, like you know the whole situation genuine how it, you know, it's not like something changes because of like, like a different factor that isn't actually like what he or she wants or right. whichever I don't know I, and, yeah, every time man, I just feel so bad for you <laughs> and then with, with how the end of the the episode it, it's already pretty much set in stone like this is the the ship that we're setting to like you yeah. know him on you know. Uh, so I feel like the next eight episodes is just going to be them setting up their relationship. Oh, there, there's there's no more chances of Yui. There's no more chances of Iroha. What if uh, man? What if they just do a, just a, they just switch something? I don't think this guy would do it though. This guy. I mean, like, this writer seems too good. I don't know if you guys ever seen the uh, the anime show called Clan Ed, where uh, they do show like the different routes that the main character could have taken. But Clan Ed's a visual novel, so that's different. Apparently, apparently this one has one too. 
Well, yeah, uh, Snap, yeah. Snap, Snap was, actually has a. Yeah. Well, it started off as a light novel, so that's different. Like, there's an actual like set like canon. Well, Clan has right. Clan has canon too because there's an after story. So. Right, right. But but what I'm saying is, is like, with with all the possible candidates that Hachiman can go towards, like it wouldn't surprise me if like they made the main season with with Hachiman X uh, Yukino. And then they'll do like some OVAs or something where so what, what, well, what could have been. Yeah. So you're talking about the clan and like, like the Tomoyo after? That's basically like yeah, the other. That, but that's like. Then, like but, two twins. But that's because that it's a visual novel. So it was built for routes and multiple endings compared to a light novel. Yeah, but apparently this one has. I mean, if it's a light novel, there's always going to be a possibility of like other ships to occur. So I guess. Uh, but I can't. But for, the, for the fans that doesn't like the Yukino ship, like they, maybe they can get some. They rarely do that <laughs> for like light novels. So I don't really see it happening. I think it's more yeah, of a visual hope, novel thing. I hope the Snafu game comes here. I would play the shit out of that. But I mean, you never know. Snafu is pretty popular, right? So it's you not, never it's know. The game came out years ago, though. It's not hugely as popular, though, compared to other it's, shows. It had, it had just like a big following. Or like a mm-hmm. like a cult following or whatever you want to call it. It's more popular than cult, but like like for a visual now look come over, I don't think it's gonna be that popular. Dude, oh, I mean, punchline uh, came over, you know? Come on. This has gotta be more popular than punchline. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, but, I went from uh, the beginning of the season from just like basically eh, you eat whatever to basically like oh god. Or she's like she's like number two on my list of three. Yeah. Because she always was like she was always supposed to be like the foil to to like to ha- the antisocial like Yukino and Hachiman. She's supposed to be the normal person of the group. Oh, show, man. show like how normal people actually behave. Yeah, show the like, the show fake. Fake. Jeez, not, not like that. The show's just gonna make me cry at the end. I know. I'm ready for it. Just do your worst. Move on. Just show me Yukino and Hachiman. Ugh. All right. Oh boy. So okay. Anyway, that, that's it for I think, Safu. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move on to sword art. So if anyone wants to bring oh. Brian back, if oh wait, hold on. Um, I think we should do Shokage first mainly because I have to do the restroom. But oh God, but I also for, uh, I completely forgot to like the one moment when uh, Hachiman had like his like kind of like uh, where he showed like love for that uh, coffee machine more than anybody else in the show. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a a nice uh, comedic relief. Yeah, for basically like the depression that happened at the end of the episode. But anyway, yeah, let me get Brian back. Um, you want to do Shokugeki next? Yeah, let's do that first because, uh, um, so I, I can know. have a moment okay. to really myself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just waiting for Brian comes back. But... Well, I don't really have much to say for Shukiki. I don't know. Just yeah, I, mean, I, I guess man. actually the concept of having like the the convenience store and making like hundred dollars worth actually that's actually pretty interesting. But like again, just I don't feel much has happened. And like and the whole like thing of Shukiki like Soma is like dish there's so much stuff in it that we didn't see like he just bought all yeah. this stuff but like i i don't know anything about like what what are osechi or whatever he made like i would like some explanation on all like the different ingredients and the side dishes he made they just get through all that yeah did they didn't even show did they even show i mean they showed like aldini and like uh mega means like final thing but they didn't go into any de- yeah. like detail they're... No, they they just showed they just showed how much they made with the their dish. Yeah. They, didn't, yeah, they, they didn't even show like what they made. God damn, dude, this shit's like trying to go so fast to cover like the. the it's basically just it's an absolute fucking train wreck. Like this plot is so much more better than the whole central plot, and uh, I wish they would do this more justice because I feel like there's so much they could work off on yeah. with this. <sighs> yeah, because like how David said, like the whole convenience thing, like yeah, convenience it's all pretty neat, you know. It was really cool, but yeah. it was showed. It was shown so poorly. I like, guess there's no excitement then, from the cooking anymore because it just yeah. happens. Like I like, yeah. no one's like going into detail and like the super crazy thing they're doing. It just it just happens. And when they give you two attempts, you know that you know that someone's failing the first. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. He was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be number one. Yeah. Oh, I failed. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Yeah, dude. But that one guy coming in though, just basically being just beasting is pretty awesome too. Kasa. I actually like him as a character. I think he's really cool. Dude, give respect yeah. to probably the best chef at the school. Like, Honestly, dude. He- he would blow like, like dude. Him and Rindo, man, they're still like way better than the current week ten. Dude, they make the current week ten look so bad, and so much just an absolute. Fuck, it just makes him look just terrible. Like he's just can't like because like he shouldn't have had that second time to actually do it. He should be able to be a beast. He's number one. Do your yeah. job. I can't yeah. do it. I mean, even the uh, even the news press reporters, they're like, "Oh yeah, I mean, we, we care about you, you too, Soma, but we're here for for Sukasa, you know, like yeah. fuck you, true number one, <laughs> right. yeah. the true number one." Um, so yeah, even the show's like just 
reiterating that that's almost actually not that great so Garbage. it's because like you know, <laughs> i don't know it's a it's because like you gotta like, make like get obstacles for him just to overcome because he's the main character even though he should be better than this because he's the fucking Dude, first scene yeah. i mean goddamn like show some sort of like you know competency or um, even Brian, even uh, megami because she got first place in the preliminaries and we don't see anything about her <laughs> she's supposed to be yeah. like the front runner from the school coming in and we don't see anything Hey, she's she's flying with, with passing with, with uh with, with uh whatever that the, the phrase flying is. Colors. But she's doing yeah, flying, flying colors. colors. Like she's doing great so far, yeah. all right? So she's doing so well. We, so, it's so, not her fault. So that well. We she's doing so well at the show. Doesn't bother showing how, how great she's doing. Yeah, bro. She's just number one. You know. Yeah. Oh, God. I have a feeling that Megumi is is this number one girl on the show. She's... That's why he's just giving her all this love. If only, man. It make it mean so much better. Oh, and, than then, and also this episode too. Like, no, 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 get it. <laughs> like <laughs> so. they had they had Irina and her trial. We didn't even know what she made. She just won. Yeah, she she just knocked out a bunch of people. We have no idea clue what happened. Yeah, I mean, it's one v fifty. As long as she wins, that doesn't matter. You know. I, mean, I guess. Yeah. Plot armor. Uh, oh, yeah. Right, did you watch this? Yes. Yes. And your thoughts? No. No. <laughs> okay. Not that, that bad, huh? Okay. Uh, convenience store is pretty cool. Uh, new elite 10 are kind of fucking elite shitters. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This man what? graduated, got a fucking Senkai boost, and Soma and the rest are just absolute shitters. <laughs> I guess that describes the season basically. Sure, the well, yeah. Uh, I don't know. And then I guess. There's like that twist at the end too, where it's like, oh, you get to be my personal chef. I think they had to change something, but I I didn't remember because it doesn't seem important to me. Like, they're trying still trying to keep the the, the whatever the, the main chef like as a secret, but I think I, I agree with you. Cool, it's it just it feels like it's like Irina's mom or something, or something important to her. It just... I mean, it, it's gotta be at this point, dude. Like, why are you giving so much shit to Irina to do? She is so like going through so much shit she's doing 1v50 and then now she has to do a 1v50 again with the round two losers yeah. and like just her silhouette and then her personality like i can see where like erina got her like cockiness from mm-hmm. or just her like bitchy attitude from you know so well it's mainly because um, her dad was like a douchebag too no but then like her dad didn't really make her that way her dad had just instilled fear in her and then controlled her i feel like the her personality doesn't fit her dad at all it, it has to be from her mom mm-hmm. and then i was also gonna say too how um uh like did that the, the, the new judge like that one the, the blonde chick like she's so like irrelevant mm-hmm. and all this like she's like the mm-hmm. only one judging like, it was like like we had the old guy and then but then just with this chick and then I don't know if she's gonna be the judge next. She's so irrelevant, and then also like I just realized too, like none of the noir people were in this episode either. So like they were at the end. They're at the end. Chainsaw lady. Chainsaw lady. Yeah. Here okay. we go. That was like <laughs> quote unquote cliffhanger, but it's like yeah, it's a terrible just, cliffhanger. But it's like they were not. They didn't do anything at all for this this round. So like just whole this whole like sequence is just a mess. Like it's not it's not coherent at all. Lost potential. Yeah. Dude, what yeah. the fuck's a chainsaw so supposed to do? Chop meat. Dude, I don't chop, know. You know, cut up that meat and bones. I don't know. Everything else, man. Dude, you, 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 you chop whatever the fuck you want when you have a chainsaw. True. It's so stupid. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's... Uh, sure, do you have anything you want to add? Dude, I don't know, man. The whole noir thing, dumb. It's just like you... You you introduce noir, which is supposed to be like this, you know, kind of like underground badass group, but yet you show nobody from that next from that group and they just all passed. Like, you don't know, like, we have no idea what they did. I mean, you're not even showing the main characters like dishes, like how we already talked about before. Like, mm-hmm. Megami saw nothing. She made money. Same thing with Aldini. You know, we saw nothing. He made money. But it's just, it's it's almost like they're, they finish first and second, but yet they don't even matter. Yep. And it's just like, it's like, why why even have them, why, why, why even have them going into it, finishing first and second, if you're not showing anything about them? And it's just, it, I don't know, it's so many, uh, like, I would hope the manga is better than what we're seeing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, or at least, at least more details, at least show us their fucking dish. I don't know, though. I, I so I have, I have no clue how that uh, whole thing happened. Because I, I, I always it. blame, I will always blame JC staff if they are a part of it. No, it's, it's, oh, it's God. the manga, um, man. This is it's totally the manga. Like, I'm pretty sure okay. the author, he probably had a deadline of 
like when it was gonna end, or he he or he probably knew that it was going downhill, so he probably yeah. was just trying his best to rush and try to get some sort of ending. Yeah, I also hate the person that's basically like like you know, like the mongrel that was refer- like like refereeing basically. It's just like, just totally like irrelevant. What, what, yeah, it's very irrelevant. It's just like somehow she like knows her shit, but at the same time, it's pointless. I uh, I don't know. And so far, like, there's so many noir people that we've seen. Like, but at the same time, like, they're flying through stuff so fast. Like, it's just like, I mean, I guess they could probably get through all of them, but there's so many. And we've seen, we've seen what they look like, but we, but besides yeah. that, no. We've only right. seen them past I, noir I, trials. I, I literally only know the clown noir guy, because I hate clowns. Like, so, like, that's the only reason I know. I know. It's, like, right. only the clown guy for me, and then just, like, um, the, I forgot his name, Suzuki, not his, that's not his real name, but, like. Uh, yeah. the, the main villain, like he's like the only noteworthy person yeah. from North. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, in all previous seasons, we went from normal looking people to basically people that would never show up in like public, and it's just like it's like they must like really live underground like, in like a hole and just never show themselves. They are from and, the underground. Yeah, hey, that's why they're underground. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I suppose that's why they dress up like clowns and chainsaws. They don't know any better. Yeah, bro, they gotta keep their secret identity, man. They cook, they cook for criminals and, yeah. and like gang bosses and hey, whatever. Man, they're yeah, they're, they're poaching, people poaching animals and yeah, starting to mafias and yakuza's. Yeah, people in bio masks and everything else. It's just like, man, what the fuck are you guys cooking? Some good shit. That's what. Oh yeah, <laughs> your, yeah. your favorite bear meat. You might lose your life. So, I don't know, man. It's I just feel so bad, dude. This show is so good. I'm done. Yeah. Mm. Same, so that's gonna be for Shukeki. Where are we next to Sword Art? The real show. <laughs> Brian, oh, tell man. me about this. About Sword Art? Yes. Uh, I don't know who the fuck one guy is. Like Wait, you watch the that? guy that shot the the fucking computer engineer. Oh, oh yeah. so <laughs> he was the guy that helped program that tentacle monster in season two, in the Elf World. I thought, okay. I thought it was like, they were saying he was that guy, like he was. Or yeah, or or he was that guy, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, but he was the guy that helped uh, the the main villain from season two build that whole server in a sense. I guess. Right. Well, he he was the one who like he was a huge part of like of uh, Heathcliff's like original team is what they were saying too. Oh, like, was he? Oh. Yeah, I think this... that's what they were saying, right? Like, he was like he, like he was like a huge. He was like a huge like officer or executive in like the team that helped me the original sword art and then Dude, like, and if then, sword art was actually good i would have i would have looked to do it and i did not like, care and then like and then he mentioned that it's like after the whole thing like after season one he basically like was trying to continue on like whatever the guy was doing so that's the whole thing with like the season two and like in tentacle monster guy i don't know something like that no I, i'm pretty sure he was referring to season two like all of it just being season two oh I don't really care, so I'll just go with that. <laughs> you, you know, this rude. Reader, you know, this rude doesn't listen to anything that's happening because, like, you would think he would avoid referencing that season any way he possibly could. <laughs> Instead of bringing like one of the worst fucking people villains that we've ever seen back, and we know nothing of besides he was a tentacle monster in like a previous in a in, like a previous server and it's just, or that other game. I, I don't know. I just, ugh, I just. Ugh. Well, to be fair, season two is when the whole rapey feel started getting uh thrown in the anime so so maybe this is a throwback to hey guys we're gonna give you more what you like the the, the rapey vibe so oh god, oh god. yeah because like it? even then it showed them the monster for okay. showed Sina, uh, like <laughs> i'm starting to lag no that's cool oh, it's not cool. okay so. i look good rip um maybe? brian yeah, you're um, like a great haiku, but Brian. Okay, Brian, was like, oh, do you have any of those original thoughts besides the guy that you know we know nothing of, and he's playing a major part now? Uh, I don't know, this this like more tentacles, more fucking <laughs> assault. Like soon on, she was about to get raped, but somehow Kirito saved her. You know, the Dude, fucking I don't know what what was that thing that saved her? Like the, one, okay, the necklace it, thing. It was, it was basically the thing that. Got that from- Kirito while he's in a car in the real life like in your and it's like an in-game item now but no it was like it was basically the thing that Kirito was hit with that basically got him poisoned when he was saving Shinon I don't remember but oh, okay how, but how we got into this game I have no fucking clue I don't know how they basically be, like took <laughs> a thing 
from real life and just made it into okay, like a I didn't necklace. realize that's what it was. I thought it was like when she hugged him in um when he was in a wheelchair. I thought it was like again in game item that like somehow like it got onto her like after she hugged him. I didn't realize <laughs> I didn't realize it was like yeah. an actual uh it was the referring yeah. to that. I thought it was things so nope. Because remember, because the, the, the shots they were showing, because they basically shot, they showed Kirito get hit by like that circle thing. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. I don't that was of this. So you, I'll, was, I'll go with that similar. too, Strand. Yeah, because like when they were showing the shots, I was like, wait, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I was like, it's just all of a sudden you're taking like a miracle save from a thing that was in the real world, and somehow you convert it into like a game necklace item. Uh, I don't know how, uh, but at the same time, I don't really kind of really question this guy anymore yeah i was gonna call it bullshit but i'm glad that she got saved so i'm okay with that oh yeah the whole thing that's just making me just pissed off is just like again the, the, this main character it's just like you're trying to make this guy that had a normal character in gun Gale online where it was about guns and shit and this guy has like psychic powers he has dark powers it's just like where the fuck is this shit coming from it's just like it doesn't it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense and it's just ugh, i don't know dude it's just like this was the first episode where i was just getting i was so I was getting so pissed off and irritated. I was just, I was just thinking about just skipping parts because I'm thinking like, you gotta be like, this is just, I was, this is the time I was just starting to lose my patience with this shit. Cause I just thought like, Oh, now dude, it's time to lose your patience. Dude, this guy just keeps pulling shit out of his ass over and over again. I'm thinking, dude, like, it's just like, I, I, you know, every once in a while, like, in, you know, certain scenes you see, you see like, okay, maybe it's just the anime, but this shit has been going on for so fucking long. It's easily just the writing. That's just piss poor. And then you have, um, and it's just another thing where they, they, they really need to quit referencing the whole thing about how it's like where they're like they're trying to like these people trying to take over the servers because it's at the same time it's like dude they could easily shut this shit down if they wanted to and yet it's just making everybody else look like stupid fools like it's making Americans but they are Chinese they're making them look like just, just stupid just dumb fucking sheep it's, and it's just and then but, you're but falling, they are <laughs> you're falling is just some. Some fucking guy from a, a group that doesn't matter anymore, with just like a, with a psychic, with like a telekinetic butcher knife, and it's just I don't know, dude. I'm just getting so sick and tired of this. You know what's funny though? It's like it's like you got the main guy that says, "Oh, these guys are hackers. Like they're using OP characters," and then you have the one guy who's saying all the shit using <laughs> OP character as well. Like, what about you, bitch? You you're OP too. <laughs> dude, they don't know that. He's up there commanding the troops. Right, but he's yeah, but why he's using an guy? OP character too. Like, like, why are you listening to him? Like, he's a fucking hypocrite. And then, like, you have the two or three guys who, like, are using common sense. But then, you know, it just shows that majority matters. It doesn't matter what that one or two smart person thinks, right? If the majority of people think that it's it's wrong, and then that's just the, the consensus that they're going with. That, oh, yeah, he's right. You know, like, this is fucked up. But, again, it's just the fact that when they were asking for, like, proof, like, how do we prove that we're not the, the hackers or whatever? You got to just look up that guy and point at him and say, hey, he's using an OP character, too. So, like, who is he, you know? And then oh, it's, it's the lo- there, there is no logic in this game or anime. <laughs> it's just fucking stupid. But I love it, though. It's it's, it's awesome. Oh, God, no. I remember when it's, like, the scenes I, was, I thought was hilarious is when they're like, okay, we use all of our smoke grenades. I'm like, but and I, and I thought it was just hilarious how the only guy who has a gun of all these people was the one guy who's a traitor, right? And I just thought, like, okay, that seems to be a flaw again. Um, God, what else was there? I just want to say, like, I just thought the whole ending was just really dumb for like where they had to surrender, and like, of course, the guy doesn't like he's not there just to finish them off, he's just there just to gloat and just like make fun of everyone and like yeah, just tell more of the backstory. And then, of course, you gotta get, get Kirito out and then to try to make it all dramatic, but it just it was just really dumb to me, like, like, Asa was like. So, oh, she's so attached to these AI characters, and then of course, no, no, and, it's and, good. And again, like these, like you know, everyone's dying. What's like these are your avatars, so it's like you're not gonna die in real life. Even though I guess you might get pain because because the way like you're set up, you lose your save data. Yeah, lose your yeah, bro. Character data. All all that time, all that time and effort, it's it's gone. All that money you spent on that character on your cosmetics, gone. All right. Yeah. So, also, oh, do I, I I like it now just because like. Like there's no way in hell that Kirito is not gonna show up in the next episode. Like he, where he's not gonna finally he's get, off, back. get off his wheelchair, just pick up the two swords and start dual wielding. Yeah. That'd guys, be such a surprise. What are you talking about, Ku? Yeah. I'd be so surprised to happen. But hear me out. What if Kirito just beats him in vegetable state and he's still in- dude, dude, that was so awesome, dude. What, what are you talking about? What if like that auto that auto command garbage shit that was happening earlier, where he has to go for the attack? 
somehow just switches it and just it's like, it just ends it like that. And Kirito's still in wheelchair to like the second or last episode. Like he's gonna pull a what? Stephen yeah. Hawkins. There's gonna be a tablet on his wheelchair. <laughs> he's gonna start talking to people and just pull off like some Jedi shit and just start just start killing all the enemies. <laughs> oh god, I, mean, I don't know. Be better than whatever the author can come up with. Dude, like I say, like I don't know. I'm hoping something crazy happens, just because like it's so fucking bad at this point. Like I feel like I feel like anything can happen at this point, you know? <laughs> dude, when he was just approaching Kirito, they're just wheeling him out, and this guy's just like talking trash. I was like, dude, yeah, this guy can't do anything, and you're sitting here just like like how David was saying, gloating. It's just like yeah. man, this, you're gloating about a guy that's like in a wheel. It's basically He's it's like God in a wheelchair, right? like yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like it's like okay, yeah, be the bigger man, I guess. You know, be the if you want to. And I just thought, I, that whole thing, I just thought was just so stupid, well, but, and, uh, um... And the whole thing, too, it's like, I mean, like, <laughs> it's like, you're, it's like, this whole thing is based on, like, you're on a mission, you're, 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 you're like, you're mercenaries for, like, the army, you have to get your stupid AI thing for whatever, like, whatever your mission is, and, like, you're just sitting here gloating at these high school kids <laughs> that you played with. To like, a vegetable. Like, like, two years ago, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, hey man, that pretty yeah. much summarizes internet culture right there. <laughs> Big yeah. man, be careful. <laughs> was a twelve year old, by the way. Yeah. Because uh, you no know, it's not, like, it's not like Alice is oh, getting away. Man. That that's what your yeah. whole fucking mission is. Oh my god, it's just like, it's like the same thing when they they keep kind of just throwing back like background information about how like you know like they had like that whole raid. It's like, oh, I was the one who did it. It's like, no shit, you're the leader. Who the fuck else would do it? And yeah. then, and then it was like the whole thing of it's like, oh, I want to talk to him about the people he killed. It's like, dude, we've already gone over this. Like, he's already talked about how like they they go through like that, basically like uh, like he went through like psychiatry about that stuff. It's like, who the hell care, really gives a shit if he hears it from this guy? It's like, right. he, well, like at this yeah. point, like Kirito should practically know that it was him. <clears throat> and they're, they're kind of making like that whole stupid shit like dramatic because he because again, there's other things that like if you bring it up, it will keep getting better. Like, it's such a good no. like lore if you like you. Have the backstory you, and you bring it up again. But the thing is, you throw it in there with no backstory. Like this guy that basically is like the, like the double agent, where he's just like, "Oh, d- don't think of me as a traitor." It's like, no, you pretty much are. Like that's what you're doing right now. But it's like it's a, a, how like we really knew nothing about this guy because he was like 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 a tentacle guy. I'm like thinking like, wow, great backstory right there, sir. And it's just and besides that, like 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 we've never seen him, never even heard his name. Like I swear to God, he wasn't even in that room with them. Until they mentioned his name, yeah. <laughs> like it's just I don't know. Like that whole show was just dumb. Also, like, like what made Asuna so like so like 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 so good in the first season? They just made her just this. She's just a bitch. She's just a whiny damsel in distress. You have a god account. Do something. And it's just and then she's just crying and whining. It's just like yeah, dude. She is fucking annoying, dude. dude I can't hear <laughs> her anymore. Like it's like the same thing where like how they just yeah. It's just oh god. Wasn't she badass and like Aincred? Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> the shit into that dude. Now she's like, oh, I need my hubby. Please yeah. help. Like, <laughs> I miss you and I need you. Man, <laughs> shut the fuck up and do something. Fucking no, no, we're gonna surrender. That's what we're gonna do. Yo, like, she should have the ability from, to like, she literally came down like a god. Fucking cast an AoE healer or something. Yeah. Jesus. She's, she's making a cataclysm. Everything, yeah. and, and then, to be fair, she can only do it once or twice before she fucking gets a, uh, like a brain tumor or whatever. But she, she can, like, but but they showed her she has like a she has some sort of healing ability because she did it earlier, like I, yeah. I swear, like two episodes ago. Yeah, like when everyone came, and, like from the, when everyone like uh the other guild people came, yeah, she just healed herself. Yeah, so, and, uh, so yeah, I, I I don't know, <laughs> I, I I really don't know what this guy's doing. But it's just like so many of these characters that were so cool. You're just making them like, kind of like, I mean, Sh- Shinon is like kind of stepping up now, even though she, at the first time she got so scared. It's like it's like dude, this guy's like like normally you should just think of this guy. It's just a you know, just a normal guy from Gungale with just guns and shit, riding a manatee or not, not a manta ray. For some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, so, so then, <laughs> I was like, yeah. what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't question. Hey, there's a bunch of different mounts in a bunch of games, so whatever. That's the only logical thing in this. Um. <clears throat> But it's just, I don't know, it's just like, uh, this turn is bad. It, it's, pretty, it's, it's, it's bad, but for me, it's a good bad. Like, it's, no, I dread, it's entertaining. I, I dread it's, watching it's this show every week. No, I dread it. It's the first one I was starting like, to dread. I really, like, I hate that they're having another arc after this. Like, I don't want to watch it. 
Dude, like, like, that, like, it was like that shit with the main villain. I just thought like all this stuff is just stupid. Like, you're making the, you're making both of them come from like a universe where they were just like from Gungil or or like maybe even Aincrad, where didn't have magic and yet they have like psychic. They have like these abilities and shit. They have darkness abilities, mm-hmm. and yet somehow he's still able to steal souls. And it, it's just, I, I don't know, man. It's just. It's all right though. Our our Lord and Savior Kirito is coming out, and then now he's going to even the playing field. So fuck that guy. It's it's okay. I mean, just like how everything is set up though. It's just so bad. Oh yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> but did you guys see the um, like the after the end scenes? There was a like yeah, I three th- or four second. I yeah, I saw that. that. So so I I didn't really. Oh, God. I mean, with the with the service coming back up, like what is that? It has to be something significant, right? Yeah, just the I, Aincrad. I Aincrad assume one? it's like something like Kirito, like whatever, like his consciousness is like is finally coming back to him. He's that's why he's at wake up, and like you know, and like get up from the wheelchair. That's why I assume. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think at this point though, like, like bullshit aside, I, I think this is the part where the, it's the heroes come back in a sense. Yeah. Where I don't, I don't think it's it's just Kirito too. I feel like maybe it might have been something that maybe Yui's doing from the background because probably we yeah. haven't seen her. We haven't seen her yet. So <laughs> with this guy's logic, yeah, she's probably doing something. Yeah, you know. Uh, so yeah. the thing is, like, too, you because you know, in the, in the openings and stuff, it shows like Kirito with his like Ironcrad basically account. Yeah, they've never done anything with transferring yet. Somehow he's going to have it because it just mm-hmm. makes sense. Well, I mean, it kind of came back like the. The fight of um administrator yeah, yeah yeah that was another dumb thing too it's like oh she spoke to me it's like hey get the fuck out oh dude this guy's a fucking sip dude he got <laughs> fucking he got fucking tricked by an ai dude <laughs> like, i just I was, I was listening to this was like this guy programmed someone and then fell to his own programming and then he <laughs> he believed that he's doing part of the world oh, that he yeah. created right it's like oh yeah my administrator oh she's gonna she's he gonna be perfect her. Uh, and then one, you kill her, you bitch. Well, no, and the thing is too, it's like his one wish is like I want to be her number one servant. It's like Yeah. You fucking suck. Oh, you're the one who made her, dude. I mean, like what 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 more do you want? You really want you to be, basically you really want to be dominated by someone that badly that you want to be a, a servant to an AI that you made. Oh dude, like I'm telling you, like it's it's so bad, but it's like good. You know, it's like like where do you even come up with this shit? Like these characters are so bad. How do you even come up with this stuff? It's it, it to me it's insane, but uh, I don't know. Just <laughs> the ultimate simp, dude. There it is. Rip, but, uh, rip, rip, that, rip, 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 that, that's all. I, that's all I got. <laughs> yeah. The only, the only good I, again. Thing about I, I dread Coley watching the Bob. show every week. Yeah. Well, now, can, now we can watch Kirito kick, kick ass in a story that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> again, so. I don't care yep. about Kirito. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you better care. I, I don't care either. I just want to see, like, just because the whole thing is, like, just knowing going into the season that it was going to be garbage, but I still want it. But they have such good animation. I want to see fights. Take advantage of this shit. Dude, like, if we can get another scene like Broccoli versus the that one guy, I think it'll be worthwhile. Right. Honestly, Good. dude, I highly doubt it's not ever going to happen. I mean, you never, you <laughs> At least know. I hope it doesn't happen again, just because let just him be the highlight. Be just let yeah. him be the highlight, man. Yeah. Fuck everyone else. Yeah. I, I would like I don't know this this guy man he just keeps he he takes out the best characters and then like the characters he has are just so underwhelming. Mm, yeah. Anyway, dude, I'm done. Whew, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't go, I didn't think I was gonna go off as bad as I did, but my god, dude, that episode just that was the first one. That really? really are you being serious? You didn't think you'd go off that bad? Are you yeah, serious? The other, ones, the other ones, I was like, I was with Koo where I was having a lot of fun with it. This one, for some reason, I was just so pissed off and triggered about a bunch of shit because like. Cause I, I'm 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 still a Shinon fanboy, like, like definitely like he like she's the best one, and like just like showing what Asuna is now, like dude, you can't like deny it. Like Shinon is definitely like, the best one, and how just making her just like equip, like just basically just like, just like a scared person and oh, lost my mouse, and how everything else is just like that, and then how, <laughs> like that whole situation, I'm just like God, dude, no, don't make her like this. But then she snapped out of it, and she's currently fighting him. So I was like, yes, do it. Okay. And, but anyway, for some reason, besides that, there was a bunch of other stuff that, for some reason, I think it was just, it just set me off at the beginning, and I was just already in a terrible mood. I'm like, all right, we're going to destroy this episode. Was this after you watched Nafu by chance? No, it was before. Oh, so maybe that's why you're so mad at Snafu. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. No, because I have no idea. 
I, I, I think it was more like I was just getting frustrated with myself for just. Hmm. Know, anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, get ready for more frustrations, Shen, because we're. Oh yeah. That's it for Sword Art. We moved to Rent a Girlfriend. Ku, how's that character development going for you? Ooh, dude, that's actually not that bad. He's <laughs> he's finally doing a one eighty. Like, um... you would hope. Dude, I, I mean. Know. I don't know because it's like the whole thing where you have, you have you know, the good guy, like basically, like, no, uh, the, the bro, uh, there was the bro in life, you know, uh, uh, Kibe, where he's yeah. telling him, like, dude, d- dish this bitch. And then you have the MC who's like, I think I'm going to get with her. <laughs> and then after like this whole like meaning, like meaningful conversation. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, dude, come on, man. Like, it's just, he's too good for him, man. Like, he, Kibe doesn't deserve a friend like the MC. It's horrible. Kibe needs to get the hell out, man. <laughs> like, that's too good. Well, actually, to be fair, I think it was him that set, like, introduced Mommy to the MC, anyways, right? So maybe it's retribution, I guess, or he's trying to like, uh, like I mean, I'm not fix gonna, his. I'm not gonna blame the guy for that because you... he didn't know about Mommy. So, dude, right. you know, you know, you when you have a true friend, when you're there, they're right there with them, and basically Kibe's just sitting there like, this chick right here is an absolute bitch. Stay the fuck away from her. And it's just like you know that this guy is like he's he's talk he's basically telling the truth, and it's just it's just dude, I don't know. It, it, every time, man, I kept thinking like there was a couple moments. By a couple moments, I mean really the only moment was at the end of the episode when he dove in the boat, when he dove in the water. That is right. it. Like he's had nothing, and it, like he's had nothing else that, like since like to actually like uh like kind of like uh. Well, again, he, he does a thing where he says like he apologizes, but it just it just doesn't mean anything. It's so empty because he's he's, he's apologized so many times. He, he's, he's only apologizing just because like he's in like that moment and like, but like. He doesn't. Like, he doesn't change his attitude, or he doesn't change his behavior. So, like, so it, his apology just means nothing. <laughs> like, well, as of right now, even though there was like uh, a reason for it of why he was going to break up, I mean, he did go through with it, and it is setting up for his character's redemption arc in a sense. And then it did end off with him actually diving in to save Chizuru. So that's so forced, uh, like the whole like curching, like going off the yeah. Or whatever. I, I feel like. I totally feel like it's forced, especially with the best friend stepping up to try to make things right. You know, like definitely feels forced. But again, uh, maybe this is where he, uh, you know, he turns around and he tries to make everything right now because his grandma's getting like out of the hospital. Uh, you know, he already admitted that they're breaking up, that it's off, um, and and yeah, like he's doing something like manly this time. So uh, it, it's possible that this is the turning point. I don't know, man. It was, the whole thing is based. It's like when they were all like up, like around the table, and he's just like, "Oh, by the way, we were just thinking about breaking up." It's like way to just like to bring it up in this situation, I guess. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, like I just feel like it's just going to get to that point where it's just like they're going to be kind of like at the broken, broken up part state, whatever it is going to be, and then he's going to try to get with mommy, like, uh, and it's going to be the exact same situation that was before. Most of it together, she doesn't care. Yep. And, and and then that I think that it's like it just feels like that's what's going to happen, and then we're gonna have to just deal with the same stuff that just happened again, and him realizing, oh okay, maybe Kibe and all these other people, that you know, every everybody else that's talking to me was telling the truth, and it's just and, and I, it's just I don't know, it's I hate this guy, man. This show should be Kibe. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's his retribution, him just getting getting with the and him just getting with the rented girlfriend. Yeah, it really should just be that man. But then to to uh, like add on to that point though, I feel like that's what's gonna happen, right? He's gonna save her. She's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. And then he tries to hook up with mommy. And then you know once mommy has accomplished her goal of breaking them up, she's gonna be like, no, I don't want you anymore either. And then he's gonna be heartbroken again. And this is where that third girl comes in because there is still a, like a couple more girls that are gonna be introduced, yeah. right? So yeah. I feel like this is just gonna be the start of the, another arc where we see more bullshit, but. You know, hopefully she's not as big of a bitch as mommy is. So, uh, I don't think, man. I think mommy's gonna be the only bitch. I think. I think everybody's gonna have a different personality, though. Yeah. When you see two people that are bitches, it's too many. You, you gotta change it up. That's not how harms work. They're all different. Oh, you never know. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a harm, and like, and I don't know. Like, I've never thought I can. I can find a like a fictional anime girl that made me so mad until I met mommy. So you never know, man. This show is very innovative. Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah. Mommy just makes me more, she gets me more like mad or triggered than usual. Just cause like, I know people in real life just like her. So it's a home pretty deep, huh, David? 
Like, I'm glad I, I didn't have to personally deal with it, but, like, I felt bad for friends who had to deal with it. I felt so bad for them. But I wasn't like Hibei, I just, like, I, I punched him in front of everyone. Just, Horrible. You know, every really every match should be like Hibei. How could you? Yeah. You, it's, you had your chance. Yeah, it, it's, like, that was a... Uh... Like that definitely the whole thing with Kiba was just talking. That was definitely like that was like the the the, the, the best moment where he's just talking shit. But at the same time, the, the main character he's just like just doesn't listen to any of that, and he's still basically wanting to get with mommy. At the same time, like too, I forget that their relationship was only a month, or was it less than a month? I think it was like less than a month, or like less yeah. than a month, but yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 man. I don't know. Like the only thing I'll say, know. I'll say like hopefully. So, because he came clean, like, break, breaking up. He didn't mention the rent-a-girlfriend thing, but, like, mm-hmm. you, you know, like, like, she's going to, like, she's she's going to show up later. So, hopefully, like, if she shows up in front of the friends, like, there's no more of that lying stuff. That That's just the one thing that, like, like besides the whole, like, stuff with the main character we always complain about, like, the whole lying and, like, getting himself in that situation just really bothered me the most. So, hopefully, we're done with that. Well, I think they they're keeping you know, the whole secret of her being a rented girlfriend just because it's her job. Yeah. And, but, uh, but like just so that, just like the main character just keep like online about like. Oh yeah. Being the yeah. Like, yeah. I hope that's over with because that was like, the one thing that, that really bothered me. Yeah, but well, that was the one nice thing I guess. Like he did actually say like, oh, like we're thinking about breaking up, but it's I guess where he he I mean he was able to like finally kind of bring it up and kind of have it like out there. But well, then no, you have well, Kibe. When you say that, I hope. Like, I they better not be, like, a future, future episode where they say, so did Jace break up yet? And he lies again. So I say, oh, no, we actually got back together. That would be really bad. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. You know, because, 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 the the because of the fairy, there's... Because of the fairy, there's a chance that they were able to make up now. So, because of Kibe, it, it made it so that there's a possibility of them getting back together. I don't want him to keep lying, to saying, like, they're, that she's his girlfriend. Because then... I mean... Just... Kiba's just being your bro, man. He just thinks... Yeah, he's like, just being your bro. Yeah, he's just... Like, she, he th- he just thinks, like, you know, she's, like, the best thing for him. And then and then you, he just has no idea. Dude, you're still, like... You're still, like, 18, 19. Like, come on. Like, Are they in the 20s? They're in, they're in college. college so. Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't know. Okay. What's hey, man, but... 18? I, think, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I thought they were first years, but... What what's the drinking age in Japan? Twenty. Twenty. Uh, so twenty. Okay, it's literally twenty. So probably twenty. Yeah. But whatever. Like. Yeah. Just. I mean, but you guys got to remember, it, it, it's only four episodes in, so there's more shit that's going to happen for sure. Um, there. Man, MC has not gotten any better yet, Koo. He hasn't. But I'm saying yeah, is there's more, a possibility for your character. Okay. Right. <laughs> for this your... is why. I, this is why I was saying maybe we should wait till episode six because that'll be like right. the climax. Because you think about it, right? There's 12 episodes, so long, six too. is the middle. That's so long. Yeah, but at least you'll know what's going to happen. You know, like, it's going really? to, like, just, just play it out properly. But know. with this, with this being so early, there's always a possibility of him being a shitbag again. And then he'll come up to another epiphany of, like, what he should be doing. And then, like, how he's a shitty guy. And he's going to change and do a 180. Um, I don't know, cool. I'm, I'm reading our uh, stream chat, and it doesn't sound like he gets much better. <laughs> he's so probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I, but I, I, mean, I mean, you you don't you don't know. I mean, if you read the the manga, I guess if it's if it's finished or if it's gone on longer, no, it's, sure, it's, it's still ongoing. But like, I could I can I understand now why people hate the manga. <laughs> like, oh god, so yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to watch this show because I heard so many bad things about the manga, and now I know why. <laughs> so hey, it's okay. That that's why I can't read because fuck all you uh, spoilers and manga readers. I didn't know I even spoilers, but I just heard people like trashing this manga when the anime was announced and yeah i know i know i know yeah i mean, i don't know it's just anime i don't really care <laughs> but, but how david said before i think it was last week we watched for chizuru and now kibe <laughs> dude kibe better end up with like he better end up with like a good situation man no i hope him and chizuru gets together dude because they fucking <laughs> they, oh dude, my God. best couple ever <laughs> like i told you man right now at this time i just want to basically i just want the worst things to happen to kazuya it sounds terrible but this guy's just trash he deserves yeah. it. Like, especially if he, if this happens again, where he gets with mommy, and the same fucking thing happens again, and then we're having to talk about the same situation, and there are things about like you know weeks to come. Mm-hmm. Dude, this guy, man, just needs to end up alone. Just rent girlfriends for your entire life. But it's okay because we're we're here on a journey, right? Of of what the possibilities of, of a girl out there can be, you know? Like who knows? We got we got the the, the sweet and dependable Chizuru. Uh, we got the the bitch mommy. Um. You know, maybe this other one can be like, uh, 
like in between somewhat. Why would you mention so, mommy as a, as like a good as a point for us to follow? No, no, like like there there's a there's different uh different spectrums of, of girls, right? You know, you got the sweetheart, you got the bitch, and then you know maybe you'll get like something else here. Yeah. But so. maybe, maybe it'll switch it up and mommy will have character development and will change and, and you notice her terrible ways. Oh, I mean, <laughs> good one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I doubt it, but we'll see. There's no way. But, but yeah. I don't know, man. Did you see, did you guys watch the preview? No. Okay. It didn't really didn't show much or tell much, but I probably did, you know. but we don't have to mention it. <laughs> You know, spoilers. Chizuru doesn't die from you know falling off the boat. Okay, well, oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> that's <Man. all> I... <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm still gonna finish the show, man. It's just like, like, I don't, I don't even know if it's like a different. This man, is the first episode like... I was actually enjoying. Like, I thought it was I, just because I was like, damn. All right, this is where Ku says this is like episode four. He's gonna wake up. He's gonna know his ways, and then he's just like, eh. After this, I'm gonna get up with. I'm gonna get together with mommy. I'm gonna completely. Just go against with everything Kibe said. I'm like thinking, dude, are you fucking kidding me? But then again, I do. I definitely do know. Like, I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm sure also representing a lot of people or guys as well that have made the same exact mistakes as this guy has made. Whereas, yeah. like, you have everybody in the world telling you, dude, get out, get out while you're still alive. And then he's just like, I think I'm gonna take a shot. And then you know, just for it to backfire. I have a chance. I got yeah. this. <laughs> Let's yeah. go. Yeah, it's like again and again, and it's just oh. So uh, it's like, I'm sure it can probably be relatable to a lot of people too, and they're probably hating this person as well. Yeah. I hope so at least. Right. I hope nobody's thinking like, "Damn man, Kazuya is the shit." And then I'm like, "Dude, you, you, you need to." You're, you're you're part of the problem. You need to stop. Yeah. You just change. Somebody needs to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. So, we'll we'll see. It's just, I don't know, man. It's. This is, I don't know, this is the type of drama I, I don't like. So I, I know, I'm, but I'm going to keep watching. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. It's something. Cool, you're not going to you're not gonna quit, are you? Oh, no, no, I'm watching this. I'm, okay, gotcha. I told you, I told you, I'm going to finish this because I need to see where this goes. <laughs> you yeah. know? Oh, <laughs> I'm same way at this point. Like, I, I have to just see, like, how, like, I just need to see how long, like, how long it takes before this guy is not, human garbage because you know at some point there's going to be a turning point but when and like how and why i guess it's because there's so many signs that have basically shown like he should change and he hasn't changed yet mm -hmm. so I, I don't know yeah well we shall see do you think though that, do you think if like Chizuru just kind of came out and said like you know i actually want to like you know get in a relationship with you in real life do you think then that would like win him over uh like over mommy or do you I think, think it was just like I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen in episode 12. <laughs> no, I mean, like, what if it happened now? Do you think he'd still be, like, if he had, like, basically the option, do you think he would still go with Mommy? Probably. No, because, uh, no, I don't think so. Because he's still uh, not hung over his ex. That's a whole thing. Well, I mean, I, I, guess, know, like, right. I guess, like, he was, like, being, like, insecure because, like, he thinks that, like, yeah, that Jizu doesn't he's only doing this because of the rent a girlfriend thing so but right right he he's reiterating that over and over and over again like since he doesn't believe that he deserves that chance or he's going to get that chance he's just like writing that option out so i feel like if there was like a chance and she did come out and said hey you know i really like you i want to be like an actual girlfriend like i think there's a 50 50 shot or he'll just give up on mommy and go with her But I mean, I don't know. That's just what is. So. I don't. But but when I actually brought up the question, I was just thinking like too. There was a lot of things like in Kazuya's head where he's like, like oh, but we're not in a really real like in a real relationship and stuff like that. So it's just more yeah. of like maybe there would have been a chance. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, dude. Mommy's just oh god, dude. I, it, <laughs> she's just an absolute bitch. Remember, boys, if you see a mommy, you you run away. You go yeah. the up, other way. Yeah. Bail immediately. You listen to your friends before they true. punch you in front of everyone. Yeah, but, yeah, hey, yeah. If basically, if you if or, you need or, like, we'll, we'll be your friends. We'll punch you. If you need confirmation, find it. Find that Kibe next to you and talk to that man. If you get punched in the face, you yeah. probably you know, deserve if, it. If this, if this ever happens to Peter, we'll be there for him. We'll be ready to punch <laughs> the hell out of him. Yep. we got you, Peter. <laughs> Sren's got that first punch lined up. <laughs> These are horrible people. A bat too. Horrible. To really get the to really get it across, I'm gonna need a bat because Peter could just beat my ass. 
<laughs> so, oh, God. Anyway, I, I'm honestly still enjoying the show. It's just fucking ridiculous. Like, the, conver- the conversations that we're having uh, is way better than I thought we were going to be doing. I thought it was basically, dude, this guy's trash. Let's just move on. Yeah, but, there's so much to talk about. And then, yeah. like, he gets your emotions running, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think because it brings up, like, that past stuff where it's just, like, how David says, like, knowing people who are actually, like, this, like these people that are in this anime. It's just, like, watching their lives. It's just like, no, dude, you're making the wrong mistakes. Bitch, get out. Oh, no. Like... Uh, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. And possibly, who knows, dude. If we ever have like any kind of manga conversations, this might be one of them we might have to bring up. Dude, I feel like we're going to have some pretty good conversations. Brian, you should watch this. Pass. You? Dude, you're, you're, okay, your friend's even watching it, man. Yeah, and... This dude, dude, this man's a simp in real life. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, dude, not how right could you? you? Yeah, what do you mean? How could you? We can tell you're not a Kibe, Jesus. right? I don't know what any of these names mean, bro. Hey, man, if you watched it, you know keep us a bro. Keep us best. Right, listen, if my anime list has this at above a seven, I'll watch. It's not it, at all. I don't even think it's above a six. You really think with these character casts that we're gonna get something higher than a six or a seven? No. With this kind of main character? Ooh. No. Oh, just kidding. Brian, look at the score. <laughs> is it is it really higher than the seven? It is. <laughs> Where is that? Oh, I guess I'm someone's watching it. it. Oh, man. Is that uh, Kanojo Okurai Masao? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I was first seeing this yeah. score, like it was over it was under a six, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe like mid six. <sighs> maybe it was the latest episode brought it up a few I'll now. watch it when it's finished. How about that? No, no, no. You specifically said it was more than seven. You would watch it. I said it was higher than an eight. <laughs> we have you on recording, sir. Uh, lies. All right, uh, people. It seems like Brian's not a man of his word. So uh, true. It's all right. You can never trust a man named Brian. Well, who again. the fuck's a Kibe? Is that the dude's best friend? <laughs> if you've watched it, you know. Yeah, dude. How do you? Okay, hey, never mind. You're watching Twitch. <laughs> I'm basically telling him, I was like, because, dude, come on, man. He's even reaching out, dude. He wants to watch, or he wants you to watch it. But, yeah, dude, apparently, she, I keep forgetting, like, uh, that, that, that uh, chat brought up, the, the whole thing, too, where she's, like, tweeting to herself, where he thinks it's basically, like, where, uh, uh, he was talking about how he thinks it's just, like, a private chat that only, her, basically, so she can just let out her frustrations. I didn't even realize like, it was her, private. Like, her, her I, mode. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's private. Um, I, I'm just kind of going with what. Um, no, I'm pretty sure it was, because, like, I think I remember seeing the lock sign on it. But oh, well, okay. I didn't realize she had like zero followers. So, so, so not only is she a bitch, but she's also crazy. Crazy it makes no. sense. I mean, we, we, okay. knew, we knew she was crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, it's more even more. We're basically she just has to tweet to nobody. Mm. So, because I, I wonder if she. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We'll save more for next week. <laughs> yeah. Remember, guys. In the words of Kintaro Oe, women are scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! Oh. Did you know that the MC of uh, what's her name, Chizuru, is the one vo- same voice actor as uh, uh, yeah. yeah, dude! I just realized yeah. that. Not well, that you would have realized it if you watched the first episode. Ha! <laughs> <Very notable. laughs> I think you should watch it just to confirm. My <laughs> list might blind you. I'll just watch a clip instead. Is that good enough? No, because there's so many bad clips that it's just you have to get through the whole thing to, for it to actually make sense. And then like the whole thing is bad, but then when you end the episode, like, huh, I'm gonna watch the next one. And then it just kind of keeps going. It's like a. I, I feel like David's hate watching. I am hate watching. <laughs> yeah, just checking. <laughs> I mean, he's hate watching Sword Art, Shokugeki. I mean, there's a lot, man. No, there, Shokugeki, there's there's a lot. But anyway, I'm good. You should watch it. All right, so we're right there. Oh God, yeah. So. Are we talking about the demon one at all? I didn't watch it yet, but I'm planning on it. I have nothing to say. Oh. Ku wants to mention it. Yes, Ku, make me want to watch the show. All right, so this show, we got his fucking sidekick, his number one right-hand man popping up. He has been reincarnated, and he's going to join the OP uh, Demon King team. Um, oh, also, this man is a fucking dude. Like, every episode... It just like re reiterates how badass this guy is, right? Fucking this guy had his. Uh, if you don't remember the last episode, they were doing this test where they had to find relics from the old Demon King's castle and bring it up to get uh, uh, evaluated a score for passing the test. 
So they got the the scepter that was worth like 100 points, which is like a like a A plus, right? And then supposedly it got stolen before they can grade it. So the the, the teacher is going to give his group a C or a 70. And t- this guy's like, no, nah, fam, I see right through you. And then it turns out that one of the students had it hitting like in his body. He just went out to him, took it, like, here you go. Give me my fucking 100 point score. All right. So nothing's going to phase this guy. He's not going to go through that stupid trope where, oh, we have to find out like who stole our shit. There's going to be like a mystery episode, right? None of that shit gets out the way. And then he also has his own fucking fan club. And this dude doesn't even, like, he gives no fucks. So uh, he, he's got a, a fan club uh, with full girls, and his right-hand man is, is in his team now. So, Okay. Best is this, MC ever. Is he still, he's still top-notch MC then? Top-notch. Dude, from even stuff I've, I've, I've looked at or watched or, like, you know, like, YouTube, you know, other people that are comment, like, you know, commenting on, like, the shows this season, mm-hmm. everybody keeps saying is, like, this show, like, shouldn't be as good, good as it actually is. Yes, like, it shouldn't. Loves- Sure. Yeah, but then not his, his character good. is like, so good. Not talking about good, just talking about the animation. Like it's still pretty. Not even animation. No, no the animation is okay, but like even like people have said like it's a generic story, but at the same time it's the same thing where it's like it shouldn't be this good, but like, it's like I think like animation definitely helps, but yeah. I think it's also like a strong MC. Like, yeah, I it's just that's... this character is like solo carrying the whole show, basically for me, I and I feel like a lot of a lot of other people are like reiterating that too. I mean, from what I've heard from like who and uh, like what I've seen on Crunchyroll, like definitely like this guy, like this guy would is like the the reason why you would watch this show. Yeah, and it's gonna uh, hopefully by next, hopefully next week I'll be caught up. And what is it, five episodes? Four? Uh, I think it's four now. Okay. But, but maybe Everybody David is just burnt out on on these types of anime, so maybe that's why. But again, I didn't, I didn't, I was just watching it for the hell of it. But I didn't think it was gonna, I was gonna enjoy it as much. And again, I didn't think the MC, like, I don't think there was any way you could redeem a, an OP uh, MC and have it be enjoyable, but this show fucking did it for me. So, <laughs> oh man, yeah, okay. that's me. Hopefully, we can have a real conversation about it next week then. Hopefully, I'll be caught up and um, David will be wanting to talk about it. Well, but the, the problem is, it, there's nothing really to talk about. It's just oh, this okay. guy's OP and how OP can he be and still be like likable, you know? So it's basically we at the end of the episode we just mention how ridiculous and how how op this guy is and then we just move on. How we amazing he is! Yes. Yeah. Okay. Basically. Um, oh shoot. Okay. Um, but uh, nothing there. But I talked to Peter yesterday and uh, he's still watching Decadence, but he wasn't able to make oh, it today. God. It seems like. I was gonna say. We yeah, should, he's we still should watching. Peter, we should ask Peter get on. We'll get him on next. Yeah. Time. I know. On the days that Brian's missing, we need somebody to fill that that Vietnamese void. <laughs> Just yeah. We're going yeah. to miss you so much. All right. Does anyone else have, have any other shows you want to mention? Uh, no. Nope. Other shows that I'm watching, but I do not want to comment on them. Okay. Yes, same. Same. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be it for this week's episode. <laughs> I want to thank the audience for joining us today. Thanks for anyone Step. who made this end, hearing our, our rants this whole episode. We had a very ranty episode. Maybe we'll continue, good, man. we'll continue on for the season. Seems like these these have shows that does it to us. I don't know why we keep watching them. <laughs> there's a good chance there's gonna be more more of those with, especially if we have to deal with Sword Art for what eight more episodes. Well, Sword Art and if, the uh, girlfriend are the main culprits. If you want us to stop yeah. bitching, please let us know. Leave a comment, yeah, leave a and comment. we will do our best. Yeah. If you hard, or if you like to defend, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> oh god, if you have a few, okay. Anyway, yeah. So. I want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. Really enjoy. Your... Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. We'll miss you, Brian. We'll, uh, we'll uh, try to hopefully, like, uh, coordinate future dates that you'll be able to join. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... We're in it right here. So thanks, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.